about 20. Symmetry. You will find this on page 255 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Symmetry. There are two different types of symmetry. Line symmetry and rotational symmetry. Let's start with line symmetry. A shape has line symmetry if a line drawn through the shape divides it into two identical sides, which are reflections of each other. The line can lie in any direction, horizontal, vertical, or at any angle. So look at the person's face. A person's face has one line of symmetry. So this side will be a reflection of this side, one line of symmetry. Okay, rotational symmetry. A figure has rotational symmetry if during a rotation of 360 degrees, the identical figure is seen again. The order of rotational symmetry tells us how many times the shape, the same shape appears. Okay, the method. Use tracing paper to make a copy of the figure. Make an arrow on the tracing paper facing north. Rotate around the center of the figure through 360 and see how many times it fits exactly on the original figure. Okay, I'm going to try to show you with my technology. Okay, so remember, what you're going to copy, you're going to copy the figure and remember to make an arrow facing north. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do with this figure, I'm going to start rotating it all through. Remember, A is now on top. So, I will rotate it until A is again on top. Okay, let's start. And every time, look, as soon as you see the original shape, can you see approximately there? Okay, then can you see it's fitting again? So, when C was on top, okay. So, Okay, it, it fit the original one, one, and it fits when C is on top. And now let's let's keep on rotating it. Can you see? B is now on top. Now I just want to move it that you can see. Can you see? It fits again. And then I will keep this process until A is on top, and I already count this one. So basically, through an angle of 360 times, it will fit one, the original, then two, then three times. So we will say it's having a rotational symmetry of order three. Now, all shapes will return to the original position after a full rotation of 360 degrees. So all shapes must have an order of rotational symmetry of at least one. However, a shape which has rotational symmetry of order one is said to have no rotational symmetry. So if a shape is only fitting one time, like that one, we, we say it's having no rotational symmetry. But if we must give it an order, it, we will give it an order of one because it fits on the original position. Okay, but let's look at an example. Example 23. For each shape, state the number of lines of symmetry the order of rotational symmetry. Now, this is an isosceles triangle. Now, I, I want to show you again, and I'm going to try to, to use my technology to help you. Okay, so copy the figure. Now, there's my figure. Now, I'm going to start rotating it, and I'm going to rotate it until this sharp point is on top again, and see if it fits. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm only fits as soon as I'm at the original position. So we will have, sa we will say, okay, um, uh, this was the rotation. Let's first start, sorry, we're going to start first with the number of lines of symmetry. Can you see it's having one line of symmetry? Okay. But it's having no rotational symmetry. Okay. The same with this one. One line of symmetry, and I can show you again, I can copy it. Okay. Where is it? there, and I'm going to rotate it again through 360, and you can check, you can check, it will only fit at the original position. So basically, we say it's having no lines of symmetry, okay, but then this one, the square, this is a square, 
Now, let's first look at the lines of symmetry. One, two, three, four. But let's look at the rotational symmetry. So, let's copy it again. Okay. Now, now just remember, now this is a bit difficult because um, when I'm, I'm j you just have to check the degrees. Okay, because there's not a point which I can indicate to you. So basically, if I, if I start rotating it, now I'm going to rotate this one anti-clockwise to just get my degrees better. Can you see it fits again at 90? Okay, let's go around again. It will fit again. I can even show you we are at 180. Okay, let's go. At 270, it will fit again. And then the original. So it will fit four times. So we say it has rotational symmetry and it's order four. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 23. Um, I just want you to do, okay, I'm just going to do number B as well as number C. Now I just want to read this to you. This is very important. All regular polygons. Um, like um, a pentagon, hexagon, heptagon. The number of angles will be the number of lines of symmetry and it will also be the order of rotational symmetry. What does it mean? If it's a regular hexagon, it will have six lines of symmetry and the order of rotational symmetry, it will have order six. A regular octagon will have eight lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry of order eight. A regular decagon will have Nine, uh, 10 lines of symmetry and order of rotational symmetry will be 10. Okay, but let's look at number B. Now number B is for each try the numbers of lines and you can really go and try to do this. If you cut it like this, this will not fall, fall there. Okay, if you cut it like this, okay, this is a little bit high, but like this, this will not fall there. So basically, when we look at this one, we are going to say, let's just start, Try, now, 23. And this is number B. So we're going to say no lines of symmetry. Remember, it. it's always a parallelogram. So it's no lines of symmetry. Okay. And then the, lo and then the, uh, the other one, this is number I. And then if we look at the next one, and we're first going to copy it so that you can see it nicely. So if I copy it, so um, let's just take this. Okay. So if I take this, okay, now be, so if I turn, just check my degrees. And I'm going to turn anti-clockwise that you can see my degrees. Can you see? Can you see? Okay, look at 180. Now I'm going to take it back. Can you see it fits again? Okay, but that will be the only extra time. Then I'm back at the normal. Okay, so basically, there I'm at the normal. So it was fitting one and then at 180, so we say it's rotational symmetry. And then we say order, and then the order will be two okay so this will be the answer then if i look at number c now in number c so again try to draw that lines oh you can try to draw it like this and you can try to fold it um so if i look at this one i just want to see if this one will fold the problem is if it was supposed to fold the, the problem is with this triangle then the triangle should have been, I just want to show you, then the triangle should have been um, like this. Okay, okay, I'm just going to show you on this one. Just give me, okay. So this 90 will be this 90, and this one will be here, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to try to show you like this. Let me just... Let me just show you how it would be. I'm rather going to use this. Okay, so so this would be at. Okay, mm, where is it? Okay, 
Okay, now if I use this one, now if it's, if it's a reflection, it's going to flip over. I just want to see. Um, no, it's not want to flip over. So, okay. Um, okay. I'm going to try to. Okay. Let's just take this one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, there it flipped over. Okay, so if, if basically um, it should have been, and uh, now it should have been just with that angle. I, I'm trying to just to show you. It should have been more something like that. Okay, there, there it's better. Now you can see it. So, so basically this angle should have been, if it was supposed to fit there in the middle, then this should have been there and there. But look how it is. Now, uh, this is just for explanation sake. Okay. Let's just try to move this. Can you see? It's not like this. So the 90, 90 degree angle should have been on the other side. That was the problem. Okay. So it should have been like this. The same here. If we look at the 90, let's just see if I could have just clean that. Uh, we can clean that also. Um, and then this this would have been the same. Okay, um, if I just flip this one over. Okay, but this this should have been, the 90 should have been here and the other angle there. So, to make it, there's no lines of symmetry. Okay, but let's test the rotational symmetry. I will write it now down. Take the full figure. Okay, there's the figure. Okay, so copy the figure and start rotating it. Now, okay, again, just check the angle, um, check the degrees. So, okay, let's start, let's start, let's start, let's start. Let's stop at 90. Okay, and let's take it back and see if it fits. Okay, I just want to see if I... And this is at 90 degrees. Oh, what is going on? I'm just going to undo it first. Okay. Put it there. And let's do the rotation here. Okay, so let's do it 90. Can you see it fits? Okay, so let's continue. Now I'm just going to continue with another 90. I just want to... Keep to the same. Okay, so at 180, stop. Can you see it fits? Okay. Then I want to do another one. Okay. But you, I think you can have the idea. As soon as I do another one, and it's actually at 270. Okay. But the, it, it will fit 1 at 90, at 180, as well as 270. Okay, so let's start writing that one down. So we are going to say it's number C, and we're going to say it's zero lines of symmetry. And we're going to say it's rotational. Symmetry of order four because it fits four times. <laughs>